Hi everybody, my name is Marco Büchel. I'm a former ski racer and now I work as an expert in alpine skiing for the German national TV ZDF. I'm uh, going to answer a, a few questions. I'm doing uh, very good so far. I'm healthy. I try to do lots of sport and uh, I still live in Liechtenstein, which is uh, nestled between Austria and Switzerland. And if it comes to a pandemic crisis, we are close to the Swiss government. Whatever they decide will be decided upon Liechtenstein. Uh, we don't have to be in a quarantine. Uh, we can move freely. Uh, pretty much all the shops are open again. Not so the restaurants and bars, uh, any cultural events, uh, uh, postponed until September. Life slowly starts again and uh, I'm out of any job right now because every job I do um, is in relation to alpine skiing so the winter season is over. I have no more job there right now and besides that I give speeches but for the moment <laughs> there are no speeches to be given because I need an audience and uh, any group of people that exceeds five persons are not allowed. So I have, uh, at the moment, I have not much to do. I'm trying to uh, bring my speeches up to a new format that I'll be ready whenever uh, the whole COVID crisis is over. Besides that, I try to do lots of sports and keep myself busy. The question is if uh, the lack of... Uh, Spring snow training does affect the uh, level of skiing for the upcoming season. Um, I have to combine it with the next question that uh, different countries have uh, maybe an advantage because they have a glacier in their country. Let's put it this way. If, uh, if all nations are not able to ski right now, if all the nations are not uh, are not able to go to South America or to New Zealand this summer, I think the level of skiing would be pretty much the same. Um, the level of uh, professionalism is very high in alpine skiing. So I consider that for a viewer uh, in the upcoming season, you don't see a difference. I still think that it's going to be fairly... Uh, equal as last season, but here come the uh, the different rules of different nations to play. For example, Sweden has a a wider range of uh, of a lockdown, not as much as Central Europe. So the athletes of the Swedish team were still able to train uh, until the last moment, until uh, they they were having snow up in Åre, and they did which means a huge advantage. Other than that, if we have uh, travel problems, if we cannot move to different countries, for example, France, Switzerland and Austria, they have a big advantage, maybe also Italy, because they have their own glaciers. And especially Switzerland, uh, they have a glacier that is open all summer long, Zermatt. Zermatt and Sasfe. And Zermatt has the one and only downhill course in, on a glacier in Central Europe. So if uh, the different teams are not allowed to cross borders and to travel, I think that a team like Switzerland will have a huge advantage. And I was talking to certain people on the German national team, and for them it's a, it's a, a di very difficult situation because uh, so far all the borders are closed and latest infos, the borders will be closed until the end of August. So maybe some teams will have to prepare not to go skiing until fall, until September. And this uh, gives an uneven level uh, for the different racers. But this brings us to the next question. Will ski, race, ski racing start uh, as usual the next season? I don't see this happening. Um, so far, um, we just managed to avoid a huge first wave but everybody is scared of a second wave and um, as long as we have no vaccine against corona um, social distancing will still be a part 
The first races of the season will be Sölden and I don't see that happening in Sölden in October. It's too early. And the next reasons will be uh, the next races will be Levy and then overseas, Canada and North America. And I think until next year uh, international travels will be not possible for us uh, Europeans. Um, North America will be sealed off. I think we are even lucky if we can travel around Europe uh, by the end of the year. And some countries are not accessible. Uh, for example, Spain and, and Italy. And Italy affects the next races if we look at the men's calendar with uh, Valgadena and Alta Badia. My concern is that right now the FIS needs to come up with different scenarios. Scenario A, B and C. And for the moment, um, there's not there's not much done because uh, Gianfranco Casper will be uh, giving up his position as a president. But we didn't have any election for a new president in in spring, so it'll be decided in October, maybe November. And right now, we would already need a new president who brings up ideas for these different scenarios. Um, scenario A would be uh, a complete season like the year before, which is not going to happen. Um, plan B would be uh, less races, maybe more combined men and women races on one place for a whole week, like, uh, like a World Cup finale, uh, different World Cup finales after each other. Uh, that would be a scenario. And maybe uh, scenario C is... Uh, a winter season without races. Um, we have to consider this as well. Uh, social distancing will not go away until we have a vaccine. And in that case, the only possibility to hold races is without spectators. And this brings me to the next question, um, the touristic skiing aspect. Um, so far, we cannot travel within Europe. If we can, um, rules are going to be implemented. And the question is, do people want to go skiing? Yes, they want to go skiing, but are they allowed to travel to ski resorts? We'll see, maybe in their own countries. But ski lifts will uh, decide on how many people will be transported up on the mountains. I think for the touristic skiing aspect, uh, it's difficult times are coming ahead for the next season. But we all know that uh, World Cup races need spectators. They need the touristic aspect of skiing in order to uh, make money, to be uh, able to survive. And this whole picture, when you have uh, federations with lack of money, you have ski producers with lack of money because ski producers will probably not sell a lot of skis next season. Uh, you have touristic areas with less people, so that means they struggle with money. Um, sooner or less, the whole wheel will start uh, will stop turning, and this is a, a very difficult situation. That's why I think that maybe, if uh, uh, if we don't have a vaccine, the next season is going to be very difficult. Um, it's either a lot less races with no spectators or maybe no races at all. This is my personal opinion, I have to say. I'm uh, proven differently, hopefully. Uh, hopefully somebody proves me different. Uh, hopefully it all uh, will come differently and I hope we will have races. I'm basically an optimistic person. And the last question, will ski racing or skiing be like before? Um, I don't know. I don't have a, a glass bowl to look into it and to see what the future will bring. I hope so. Um, ski racing and skiing went through different crises already and it has evolved and, and survived. And I think ski racing will be back. Hopefully the way it used to be. Thank you.